Hello everybody, my name is Jad, welcome to another MLB 9 Innings 20 video. Today we've got a bunch of packs, hopefully we're finally finishing up spec training on Brett Gardner, which means that we will be done doing spec trains for all of my players until we get a new one. Now last month I bought SIG packs because I had nothing else to do. This month, however, I decided I would not buy SIG packs just because of the fact that we're actually getting a new SIG at the end of the month in approximately a week at this point. So that's why I am not going to be doing any signature packs because we will be spending a bunch of money in a little bit and honestly i don't have the money right now because uh, i'm in between going back to school and working less it's just a mess right now so uh don't worry we will keep going on with the videos i'm still trying to figure out a uh, giveaway that i can do for you guys because we did reach 1500 subscribers and i i posted about this i want to thank you guys you guys are the reason that i'm there because you guys have been there with me since the beginning. You guys have been giving me the support. I love talking to you guys in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. And I love whenever I go in a game and I just join a lobby and I start talking. And people are like, oh my god, it's, it's the YouTube. Like, that's so funny. Like, I never ever imagined that that was going to be the case. But here we are. So thank you guys so much for the support, for all the love. I appreciate all of you guys. And I'm so thankful that you guys are here every day to come watch my videos. Like, I love it. Um, I don't have a lot of packs this week. Like I said, I was super busy this week, so not going to be the longest of videos. Um, if it comes up a little short, maybe I can just go do an arcade run. I haven't seen this pitcher yet, although I, I keep looking every couple weeks to see when a Yankee pitcher's coming up, and I was excited to see that Paxton's coming up next week, so I'm super stoked about that. So next week, hopefully, we'll be doing combos. That's really exciting. I'm finally getting back to combos after what seems like it's been about, like, a year and a half since I've, like, actually actively done combos. So I'm actually... If you guys have any suggestions about what combos I should be doing, because the way I used to do combos was always, like, three, four bronze, five silvers, and then either four or five golds, essentially, to get diamonds. And um, I wouldn't really combo the diamonds, really. So if you guys have any kind of suggestions about what combinations i could do i hear like you know three three golds three gold two silver or like you know stuff like that three three gold a diamond or like four four gold one diamond like stuff like that i hear is like okay so if you guys have any suggestions what works best for you just leave them in the comments below i'd love to read them so that way we can get off on a good start next week with our combinations either way even if we do not Finish up Gardner. I'm going to finish him up with like intermediates and basics after I finish the video. So no matter what happens at the end of this video, we will be done with Brett Gardner. And that means that we will be done with spec trains. Um, someone was talking about my Gardner. They're like, wow, your training's pretty bad on Brett Gardner. Well, that's because I used the training redistribution ticket on him. So that's the only reason why. If you guys didn't see the video, like, yeah, that's... I wanted to use it on a player that wasn't in my lineup because I was told that it's not a... Like, it wasn't the way the premium skill change tickets work, so that way you can't choose between the previous and the new training. You're just stuck with it, and it just tells you to get lost. So that's why, wow, two Brett Gardners, what? The game knows it's hearing me talk about Brett Gardner. I didn't put my daily pack yet, I forgot. I forgot to pull my daily normal. Whoops, I'd rather put my... Team select first, you know what I mean? Anyway, so the grind continues. We got a good number of skill change tickets. We didn't get a lot of packs this week. I don't know what was going on with the packs this week. I just couldn't find any. I got a lot of skill change tickets, though. Some from events, some from modes. But for the most part, I got a lot of skill change tickets this week comparatively. For the number of packs I got, I only got about, like, like I said, 24 premiums. And I ended up with 10 skill change tickets, which that's a weird ratio. That definitely seems like a lot, to me at least. Like, I remember those other videos where I end up with, like, 60 packs, and I still only end up with, you know, 10 skill change tickets. So I feel like I got double the rate this week, although I didn't really do much. Okay. If you guys didn't see, we posted the rank tanking video, so, um, I mean, I said in the video you can start, like, 90-95-ish. I mean, you could definitely start earlier. But, I mean, that was just a suggestion if you want to, like, wipe the boards of, like, you know, your whole lists. I feel like before that, it would be kind of, like, not ideal. However, I, like I said, didn't start tanking until I was basically 105. So, I can't tell you how effective it was down there. But, uh, if you guys say that you have some luck with that, then I think that you guys should take their accounts into, um, into your decision. And I think you should definitely give it a shot, at least. I mean, what do you have to lose? Nothing, right? At the end of the day, you're gaining ranked coins. That's what the point is, right? No 
primes yet. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely not going to get primes out of the live team select premium packs. That's for sure. Johnny Lasagna 20. I saw a live Judge 20 card last night go for 30,000 stars. And uh, I just don't understand that logic. First off, it's a live card. Second off, oh, that Ottavio is going to be great. I think he's got like a .7 ERA. But... He's got a crazy ERA. But the problem is is that he's injured right now. His stats are going to go down. It's not like they're going to stay up where they were back at, like, I think he was, like, an 89 or 90 base pow. Like, we can go check it out right now. But I'm telling you, like, there's no way that that card stays up that high. It's, he got hurt. Like, he's essentially losing a week and a half right now. I mean, he'll be back. He says he's 100%, but he still has to wait through the whole period of being on the IL. So, I'm just saying, it's not looking good for him. Like, we can go look at his live card here. I think I've got it somewhere here. Yeah, there we go. 89 base power. So, basically, John Carlos Stanton territory. 70 base, too, which is weird because he's got a good batting average and he's been really good in the field, too. So, uh, 70 base, I don't know what it means, but sure, fine. That's strange. I might want to lock that Adovino because that Adovino is going to be sick. It's, it's, he's a 65, and he's, like, I don't know if anybody's been watching him, but he's been striking out, like, everything he's faced. He's been in more of a kind of backup role, or not backup role. He's been kind of like a, um, he's been an inning killer or a firefighter. How about that? Firefighter. He's been the guy who comes in at the end of the inning where there's, let's say, against the Red Sox, uh, Jay Happ last night went uh, five and two thirds, and then uh, they had J uh, JD Martinez coming up. So they're like, yo, bro, can you just get in there and like, strike out J.D. Martinez for us. Thanks. And then that's it. And then that took him out of the game. So he was essentially just, you know, working as a firefighter, which is honestly a really good role for him. I mean, he's he, he succeeds in that role because his pitches are absolutely nasty. If you need a strikeout, Ottavino is your guy. So let's do the, let's do, the, do the daily pack real quick as I try to get through these words. Yes, don't show again today. As I misclick it about 35 times. Nailed it. Oh, it's something not great. <laughs> it's another nothing. Fantastic. Still have not seen a diamond out of it. Trust me, if you if I got a diamond out of it, you would know because I'd post it on YouTube right away. I'd be so happy. I'd be like, guys, look what I got. But no, I have not got a diamond out of it yet. Meanwhile, I've had clubmates quite literally pull back-to-back -back days. They've pulled diamond players. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I'm not happy about that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what happened with these packs, but, man, dude, they're just not – they're not, I didn't pull a single diamond out of an ultimate either, dude. What is going on? What? How did that happen? Man, we're just getting not lucky today. Hopefully that means we'll have better lucks in terms of the um, – in terms of the skill change tickets later on, Wade LeBlanc has a better overall than Adam Adovino, that's for sure, with a 409 ERA. Seems legit. Was that a diamond? That's not a diamond. What? I didn't get a single diamond from a single ult. From nine ults, I didn't get a single diamond. Bruh. What do you mean? At least I got a diamond out of this one. Well, none of them are primes. No primes today, man. No primes and no um, no primes and no vintages. That's a shame. Well, we at least got a vintage combo, so that's going to be good. Gardner, unfortunately, is not going to be looking too happy here. I don't think he's going to be done. I think he's going to get him to, like, 7. I'm going to have to use, like, 1,000 a a thousand intermediates to get him to 8 or something. I think it's 5,000 basics to get from 7 to 8. I'm pretty sure that that's the number. It's, like, 5,000 from 7 to 8. So I assume it's probably about like a thousand or two thousand intermediates to get them the whole way. I could be wrong. I guess that depends because that's bronzes. I guess because if you get an occasional gold or silver, you get more. Ah, whatever. Uh, yeah, look at how bad his training is. Plus four power. Yeah, if I get another skill, if I get another redistribution ticket, I'm using it on him right away because I'm not dealing with that. Okay, premium vintage pack first. Still have to wait seven more days for another GI reset ticket. Unfortunately, not there yet. Almost there. Tony Leach? No idea who that guy is. I think it's Tony Leach. I could be wrong. I, I, I assume people's names in this a lot, and I'm really bad at it. Sometimes I've heard of people, so I know their name, but in that case, I got no idea. And no silvers out of the intermediates either. Damn, dude. It's a it's a not a very lucky day today. What a shame. It's okay. 
there's still a lot more to go. We still got more things we can definitely get lucky on, that's for sure. Oh, okay, so let's go do... Let's go do a couple of... What's my call? It's, uh, this is the Schwindel I picked up, by the way. I, I saved him just in case he got taken out of the game. I want to keep one for posterity, because I'm afraid he's going to get taken out of the game at some point. You know, because he's not on the roster right now. I think he's like a... I don't know if he's on, on an um, alternate side right now, or if he just didn't make the team. I have no idea. I have no vintage. Just, oh, yes, I do. I'm like, hello? Do I have no vintage batters right now? Do, do, do. Last week was such a crazy video. I think that it just took all the luck away from this video. Like, the, I don't know why I locked him. Last week with the uh, the diamond vintage and all the other stuff we pulled, the three primes. I mean, last week took all of the luck away from this video too, but that's okay. Hopefully we'll get some luck with the skill change tickets. I've seen some crazy, crazy skill changes this week. I've been seeing people get like charisma. Like, I've been seeing people get the nut skills like charisma. Uh, charisma, spotlight, slug runs thing, like stuff like that. It's just crazy skills. Why is he locked? Did I not just unlock him? Am I Stunad? I thought I unlocked him. Ooh, give me legend, baby. Give me legend. Haven't had a bad. Ah, look at that one. Got a Mets pitcher. I want to call him Simon McDowell, but it's not. Roger McDowell. Okay, let's use our skill change tickets. Uh, Miss James Paxton. Where you at, bud? Triple bronze. Triple bronze all level one, too, which is hilarious. Like, that's just... You can't have it worse than that. That's pretty bad. Ooh, it looked good. It looked good. Oh, boss setup, man. Damn, that's a good, good, good setup man set right there. Winning streak setup, man. That is that is that's a dumb, dumb closer skill set right there. That is really stupid. That is one of those situations where you leave mess you leave mess at one, or you leave mess as low as it can go. Pretty much. That is one of those situations where you max setup man winning streak. Mm, I've heard some okay things about dominant pitcher, but I'm not sure about it yet. Again, another decent. Uh, well, you wouldn't be able to use that skill set because essentially it would be like. You don't. You wouldn't be able to max both of them. Damn, man. Uh, we got some good skill sets, but again, not for anybody that's like useful. Like we got those closer skill sets all over the place. Absolutely crazy. All right, so uh, it's only been about twelve minutes. So let's go play. It, let's go play a round of arcade as I fumble through my words. Robbie Ray Chase Field. I don't know what Robbie Ray's pitch sets are, but uh, let's see what it's at. I guess. Let's see what we can do. Last week on the last day uh, with Erod with his changeups, finally I broke through. I, I didn't end up in diamond, but I ended up about rank 205. Uh, it was okay. All right, so let's see what we got. He's golden pitcher, cleanup killer. That's not going to activate. Oh, he's got a weird delivery. His delivery is, like, so fast, but the ball doesn't come out very fast. I'm just basically sitting dead red on this. Like, that's what I always do with every pitcher. I swing fastball until they throw me a not a fastball. Like that. Just try to hit everything perfect and just hit it as far as I can. I swung early because I'm so used to Eduardo Rodriguez's fastball from last week. Just want to try to hit as perfect as, many, as often as I can. I think that was a changeup. I'm pretty sure that was not a fastball. I'm passing people in bronze at 710,000. That's not a good sign. When you pass people at bronze at 710,000 on literally the first day, that's not a good sign. But man, dude, look at this judge. This judge hits these ridiculous home runs. Like, he has... The, the signature increase has been ridiculous. Like, he hits 570-foot home runs now in arcade mode. It's absolutely crazy. Oh my god, I only got the silver three? What? How high is gold right now? Is it really that easy of a week? I'm not I'm not ready for this. I also can't hit perfect right now. There we go, that's perfect. That was a slider. So I've seen fastball curve two seam. Maybe a changeup. I could be wrong. It could have just been a really slow fastball, maybe. And I'm just I'm an idiot. So 
So really, the, the 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 way that I try to do arcade mode is just try to well obviously get a perfect combo by just swinging at fastballs the entire time. But outside of that, inside of like the lines of doing that, what I'm also trying to do is I'm also trying to do my best to hit these really huge home runs on burst. Wow, I can't believe I didn't get it that time. Like that's the way that you're gonna score the most number of points is you're gonna to want to hit the most the furthest home runs on burst. But not only that, but I've noticed that if you hit them on certain numbers, like now this could be completely unsubstantiated, un uninstantiated. But I have I have uh, this theory that if you try to hit long home runs, let's say that you have burst and you hit a huge home run on a 15 combo, like exactly on 15 or exactly on 20, you're gonna get a huge number out of it. And I don't know why, but for some reason, it seems that whenever I hit a, a huge home run on those numbers, like every 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, it seems that that always gives me a higher number in terms of, like, a crazy amount of points. I don't know why, but that's just the way I, I see it. So I'm always trying to get it so that way I'm hitting a huge number. Like, I'm always trying to hit, like, my best pitch at that one. That was a curveball. I can see why he's easy. Like, he doesn't really fool you, but in order for you to sell out, you kind of got to swing early before you really had a chance to read the pitch. Right now, just swing it early. That's two seam would end it. I always like hitting in chase fields. I feel like in chase fields, because the fact that the back wall is, wow, I didn't even hit that one out of the park. I feel like because the back wall is so is solid that it actually gives you the home run like at a further distance than what it should have been. Like that one, it's at five sixty two. But I feel like if it was an open air, it would have time to just kind of like fall and land. But because it's actually a like a back wall, I feel like it actually gives it to you more easily. Nice player auction. I just swung late on a curveball. Imagine two thousand twenty. Swing and land on curveballs. I'm sure as the week goes on, I'll definitely get a better combo off of him. Damn, I just swung later the two seamer. I'm not sure why, but for some reason, it seems to me that when you have a guy throw a two seamer, it, I don't know why, but it seems to come faster than a four seam fastball does. Like, if you swing at a two-seamer the way you think a fastball is coming, you're just going to swing late. And I don't know why. I actually couldn't say. I couldn't explain. It doesn't make any sense to me. But it's always been that way. I don't know if it's just visuals. I don't know if it's actually faster. I'm, I'm not sure. But it actually seems to be that way. That when he throws a two-seam fastball and you're expecting a four-seam, it just, it just whizzes right by you. You <laughs> have no shot. Let's go ahead and end it. 1674. Moving up. 1500. Let's see. One more. I don't really use the uh, bonus ball, and I don't really use the miss prevention unless I'm really trying to get like a diamond off of like a really, really good pitcher. So let's say I'm trying to get like a ranking at the end of the week, like from trying to actually. That was lucky. Got fooled on a curveball. Still got a perfect. Like if I'm trying to hit a diamond off of a pitcher that has essentially like. You're one pitch away from a full combo. So essentially, Erod last week is a pitcher that I would probably use them on. Because essentially, you're trying to just avoid the one changeup he'll throw you. And you're trying to just base your combo off of that. Or like Tanaka. Tanaka was basically a perfect run every time. You just have to avoid getting unlucky with swinging early. Ah, I was trying to hit it perfect. I was trying to hit it perfect, and I ended up swinging late. What? I just hit it perfect and didn't... Hit, didn't What? How does that even work? I, forgive me, but if you hit a ball, and it's not... A, if it's not a good... If you hit a great or a perfect bonus ball, you should get a home run every time. You should never, ever not hit one out. That's insanity. That's being... That's silly of me. So I'm at 1,502. What are we looking at in terms of stats here? Actually, not that high up. That's strange. Uh, last range, he's in our he's in our club. Swedish fish. That's a homie right there. Maple birds also a homie. Always used to make fun of me about being in arcade. Looks looks pretty good to me. 
And dude got a top score with Gary Sanchez 19 in the match. Okay, well, that's going to be it for me for you guys today. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, like I said, we're going to be doing the next package. I don't think it's going to be next week. I think it's going to come out next Tuesday. I could be wrong. So uh, keep your eyes open for that one. I'll probably open it early, and then I'll probably record it and then put it in the video later. But with that being said, you guys, thank you for hanging out. That's going to be it for me for today. I'll finish up Gardner off camera, and then we'll finish that. If you guys are interested in learning how to rank tank, you guys can go check out the video. Uh, you guys can do it at whatever overall you would like. It's just the main concepts that I put forward in that video are pretty solid. So just got to follow those whatever overall you're at. So thank you guys. If you guys like the video and you want to leave it a like and you guys want to see more of my content, all you got to do is leave me a subscription. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.